So we're playing Fibonk, 1937. Let's go ahead and play d4. Yeah, that is nice about chess. You can be, uh, you can enjoy it, not be the best in the world or anything like that, and still have a lot of fun with it. So we're just playing the uh, d4. We're playing this kind of setup here um, against the king's Indian defense is what Fibonk is playing here. Uh, we're just going to play knight c3. He's probably going to exchange. And we now have a um, kind of like a Sicilian position, I guess. Uh, he's attacking the c4 pawn right now. So I'm just going to play b3 to guard it. Knight c6. Uh, we're just going to go with knight to... I think knight to c2 is fine in these situations. I don't want to exchange... Ooh, I feel like this is... Uh, I feel like this is a bit of a mouse slip here. Uh, is there a way to take moves back? I don't think there's a way to take moves back, unfortunately. Um... So, do I take with the pawn or with the knight? Pawn stacked on my mouse. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, so if I take here, he plays like 95, takes, takes. Yeah, I'm just going to win the exchange here, I guess. Have I ever played against Carlson or, <laughs> or uh, non? Uh, no, not, never played against either one of them. <laughs> um, never had the chance or anything like that. I've played, like, Nakamura online and stuff like that, though, but I've never played any of these guys in, in person. I've played Grandmasters in tournaments in person, but not, like, uh, Carlson or Anand or anything like that. Uh, did I beat Nakamura? I think I've beat him once, and it was on ICC a while ago. Um, but it's it, if I have beaten him, it's only been like once. He's uh, he's quite a good. I, I played him in Bullet, so it was uh, not usually an easy match whatsoever. Um, but I think I have taken him at least one game, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'm taking here. Knight takes e7 is the problem for him. Um, Okay, so we're going to analyze this real quick and then play to bunk again. I know that he mouse slipped, so we're going to rematch him in a moment. I do just want to do the analysis for the sake of YouTube, though. Um, so the opening is uh, pretty standard here. Uh, bishop g2, c4, d6, castle, c5. There's different options for white here. I could take the pawn, I can push the pawn, I can play e3, or I can do knight c3 like I did. They will lead to different types of positions. For example, d5 is more of a closed position. Knight c3, and then he exchanges. is kind of like a Sicilian defense without the e4 thrown in there. Um, he played queen c7, hitting the pawn. So I played b3 to guard it. Knight c6, knight c2. I'm assuming he meant to play b6, um, which would have been okay. Then he plays bishop b7. Um, of course, b5 is the mouse slip. Bishop d7 is also fine. Rook d8 is okay. Lots of different moves that are fine for black here. Um, but after the mouse slip, uh, not a whole lot else to say. We're just up a piece, and then, um, you know, we're up, still up a piece. We're going to win a queen here. Um, so we'll just rematch him. Uh, there we go. 